Alright, so this time is pretty straightforward. Um, you're just going to take your worksheet where you do 50 simple symbols and you're going to trace one of them with the pen tool. Um, to scan it, uh, I will kind of show you that in class. I'm not going to make a video of that, but um, it's pretty straightforward. You just put it on the glass, put your uh, flash drive into the uh, scanner, and then just scan it as a JPEG. Um, I'll walk you through that real simple and uh, I'll kind of show you in the demonstration video how to trace something with the pen tool uh, real quick. Um, again, if you don't have your uh, 50 drawings worksheet, you're going to trace any quick sketch or small symbol. It um, doesn't really matter if it's from your worksheet. I would recommend you use that though so that you kind of get used to making quick sketches and uh, uh, tracing them. Um, there's also a tutorial uh, a printable like written in picture tutorial uh, and um, the project folder that you can use if you don't like this video and uh, here's some examples of just what that looks like uh, once I get into Illustrator it's it's kind of the same setup you're gonna set your drawing to kind of a locked uh, but visible or slightly uh, reduced opacity layer and then you just simply trace over it um, with the pen tool on a different layer and then uh, you can colorize it and do pretty much anything else you want with it. So uh, on to Illustrator. Okay so I'm gonna kinda do a quick review of how to create a symmetrical symbol and then I'm gonna show you some some more advanced uh, ways of making symmetrical objects with the pen tool and the reflect tool. So first, a quick review of how to make a symmetrical symbol. First things first, I recommend you turn on your uh, grid, you turn on your rulers. If you don't remember how to do that, go to View, uh, Rulers, uh, Show Ruler, and then View, uh, uh, Show Grid. And I've also turned on Snap to Grid for this uh, demonstration so that everything I make snaps to somewhere on the grid. Uh, then you're going to want to drag over some guides for your line of symmetry and um, you want to make sure that your guides uh, are where you want them and that whatever shape you make uh, lines up with these guides. So if I want to make a, a shape like a heart, uh, I have enough room right here for that. I'm going to switch to my pen tool and uh, the heart line of symmetry is going to be this line here so I'm just going to kind of loosely build my heart here. It's not going to be perfect. Okay. Remember, you can always go back with your direct select tool and alter your lines if you need to. And we're going to make my line black here just so we can see it. Okay. So there we go. We have half of the heart built. Um, to, to copy it over to this side, I got to switch to my uh, selection tool, my regular select tool. Um, select my object and then go to the reflect tool. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click once on my guideline here which is my line of symmetry to set the reflection point on the center. I'm going to hold down the alt key on my keyboard and then I'm going to click on my um, my object that's selected and then what I recommend you do is hold down the shift key as well let go of your mouse first okay and then let go of alt and shift so that uh, your object copies directly across from where you uh, wanted it to copy. Okay, once it's copied, you're going to switch back to your direct select tool, highlight the points that overlap, and then hit Control J. That'll join those points. Okay, Control J, and now we have a closed shape. Um, you need to have closed shapes, and you need to, and or at least for this assignment, I want you to. Uh, fill them with solid black so that I know you uh, joined your points that overlap. Okay. If you don't do that, sometimes you can see like a sliver of color there where the points are not quite joined. Um, so make sure you do that. If you can't stand making your shapes black, then fine, use a different color, but add some kind of color to them. Now I'm going to go over um, how to make a more advanced uh, rotation or uh, reflection. Okay, so I'm going to make kind of a random sort of star shape uh, and I'm going to rotate it or reflect it, sorry, uh, four times. Um, so to do that I'm going to have 
to use uh, two lines of symmetry. So I've already got one line of symmetry, so I'm going to pull down another line of symmetry from the top here. Okay, and then I'm going to build a shape that goes from here to here. Okay, and the reason for that is so that all my quadrants line up. And uh, that just makes it easier on you when you're making a, uh, a rotationally uh, symmetrical shape or rotationally, that's not a word, but anyway, let's go to the pen tool. Uh, I'm going to build one quadrant of my shape here to copy four times. So I'm just going to make some kind of random star shape. Uh, it doesn't really matter how awesome it looks. Okay. So long as I end in my corners here in a perfect square. And I'm going to switch it back to a stroke. Okay, so now i got my shape. Again, I'm going to switch to your selection tool. Make sure you select the whole shape. All your anchor points should be blue. Okay. Um, and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reflect this once down here. So I'm going to click on my reflect tool. And I'm going to set the reflection point. I can set it on this line of symmetry or I can set it in the center. It's a little easier to set it in the center. Okay. And then uh, another way to reflect again, if you remember, is to double click on um, this uh, tool. You can do it via the dialog box now. Another method is to hold down the Alt key when you have your uh, crosshair cursor here and click in the center. And it'll do the same thing. You can uh, copy it via the dialog box here, but now you can set your uh, symmetry point wherever you Alt click. Uh, so I'm going to check Preview and then I'm going to create a copy. So I just copied this half over to here. Okay, so now if I want to do it again, I'm just going to hold down Alt key, click in the center of my line of symmetry here, and instead of copying it uh, uh, negative 90 degrees back to where it was, I'm going to do it further down. Okay, so that would be negative 180 degrees. Okay, and then I'll hit copy again. And I can do uh, the same thing for the last one, but I'm just going to do it the good old fashioned way. So I'm going to click in the center here, hold down the Alt key, click on my object, hold down the Shift key as I'm moving, and then let go of my mouse first, and then Alt and Shift. Okay. So now I got this uh, symmetrical object, and this is rotation symmetry, uh, as it's sometimes called, because you're rotating one quadrant. Uh, four times. You could use the rotate tool for this if you wanted to. Um, I'll show you how to use that tool later. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, now I got to join these points though. So I'm going to use my direct select tool, highlight them, control J, control J, control J. And if you don't remember the control J, just you know highlight your two points and object, path, join is the command I'm using. So now I've made another symmetrical shape. It's kind of a weird starfish shape. Um, perfectly acceptable for you to make kind of weird shapes that sort of resemble something loosely. I would prefer though that you try to make them as uh, recognizable as you can and just sort of have fun using these tools. Uh, you have to make five shapes for the assignment. Once you've got your five, make sure you hand it in and make sure your file name has your name on it.